welcome back to another video about a children's trading card game. After a very long wait, uh, and apologise for that wait, uh, we have finished the Gate Ruler World Team Circuit. Um, this was just due to a lot of scheduling issues, uh, thanks to the time zone between Japan and the UK, but we finally managed to get it all done. And uh, I think it's been a great event. Um, so I'm going to talk through the results now, and then um, and then yeah, you can you can see those deck lists. But uh, I just want to say firstly thank you to uh, Arenji and uh, to Cartas y Aventuras for organising this whole thing. Uh, it was amazing. Really, really enjoyed it. Had a great time, and I think it was uh, nice to finally have some sort of competitive scene going. It was great to have it be fully international. Basically, every region that wanted to play could play. Um, and I think it went really smoothly, and I'm hoping we'll be able to do another one of these, uh, maybe when set 5 releases, um, because the finals was played in set 4 format, um, but uh, we'll see. But um, yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and talk about the results. So uh, here they are, and as you can see, we brought it home, lads, we brought it home, the UK, number 1, very good. Uh, yes, um, UK, number 1, the the, uh, the body fight to gate ruler pipeline, uh, clearly once again doing bits. Um, but yeah, so uh, here here are the results. Sixth place, Unes, 30% uh, win rate, 15 wins, 35 losses. Fifth place, Spain, 42% win rate, 21 wins, 29 losses. Uh, fourth place, Canada, 37% win rate, 28 wins and 47 losses. Uh, the reason uh, is, this is is because uh, they uh, they will have all had like a different number of rounds. So like fifth and sixth will have gone 0-2, uh, Canada went 1-2 uh, and so on. Um, and the UK actually played the largest number of rounds because um, we lost in the semifinals. So we had like one extra round to like go all the way to the end. Anyway, uh, third place, Russia with a 56% win rate, very respectable. 56 wins, 44 losses. Uh, the second place is Japan with a 53% win rate, 53 wins and 47 losses. Um, so they lost more, but um, you know, when it didn't really matter until the end. And then of course, first place, UK, 77 wins, 48 losses, 62% win rate. Uh, I'm obliged to do that voice. Um, so those are the results, and obviously congratulations to the rest of the UK team, but congratulations to Japan, congratulations to Russia, and thank you to everyone for taking part. Um, let's go ahead and just show you these full results here. Um, so these are the scores for each individual uh, round. As a recap, I'm just going to leave this up here. I'm not going to read through them. Um, let's go ahead and now talk through uh, basically these rounds uh, that I have not covered yet on this. So here we have the losers round two. Uh, this is Canada versus Russia. And as you can see, Russia taking a very confident victory, 17 points to eight. And as usual, I'm going to talk through all the decks which had at least three wins. So here we have a Highlander list, um, and there's not really much to say when it comes to Highlander. It's just, you know, good stuff, value, go brr. Um, obviously, this is all set three format until the finals as well, so it's all set three format. So obviously fairly outdated. I'm not going to dwell too long on, on the... Uh, oh, is it set three format or is it set four format? When do we swap to set four format? I think... I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, oh, no this is... Is this set four format? No, this is set three format with a... No, this is set four format. Huh, I'm an idiot. Sorry. It's all set four format. Uh, so, yes, this is set four format. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, but yeah, here's your Highlander list for that. Uh, then we have got this wizard. Um, like, it, this was like a robotic list um, where, like, the idea was kind of to, like, you know, keep popping the 884 uh, and then just generally use, like, good stuff value. Um, that's what you had, like, uh, you know, stuff like the nuke for all sets uh, card and all this sort of stuff. And it, it seemed pretty good. Uh, and then we have got a uh, supernaturally kind of list here. It's just you know wizard value. Um, I'm not. I don't. You know. I don't know if I would play Yoma in this kind of list with wizard. I feel like I like I wouldn't have been incentivized to play wizard because it does make playing a bunch of these uh, like a little bit uh, inconvenient or a little bit annoying. But I don't know. Um, I still think like it's a it's 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 a it's a decent list. Um, sorry about that little arm, by the way. Uh, next up. We then had the semi-finals, the UK versus Japan, and we just lost. It was so close. Uh, Japan winning 13 to 12. Um, you know, uh, we, did, we did what we can, boys, but uh, yeah, uh, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Uh, so Japan did great in this round. Um, yeah, basically showcasing the why they are uh, um, why they came second place. They were really, really, really good. Um, so here we have a wizard list. Um, so this is like a sort of zoo brigade list um, based around. Uh, no, so I believe this was set three format. Um, so yeah, the, these all took place at like slightly different times. So I think this was the last one in set three format. Um, so I'll just blaze through these lists uh, because you know it's, it's it's an old format. Um, probably not super relevant now, but uh, here we go. Um, just a bunch of lists. You can obviously find all this information on Cartas y Aventuras' uh, Twitter page, um, where all that information will be and all the deck lists. 
Okay, then we got into losers round three. So uh, at this point, we are here in the chart. So uh, we so what had happened is we played the semi-finals while Canada and then Canada played Russia in these losers round two. Uh, at this point, we decided to choose to set four format, and this is set four format, and this is set four format. So uh, let's go back to here. UK versus Russia, uh, and as you can see, uh, we clapped them uh, 15 to 10. Um, I did not have the most fantastic day with Alice, as you can see there, with uh, with two wins, but I had a better day than poor Black Ace, who, uh, I mean, the deck was not working for him. Uh, as you can see, Alice wasn't working for either of, <laughs> either of our Alice players. Um, I, yeah, I think it's a tier 1.5 deck. Um, like, it's 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 good, it's just like there's, you know, four better decks, so it's a bit of an L. Um, but yeah, let's uh, blaze through these. So here we got our uh, here we got a Vanquisher deck list, uh, a Vanquisher Death Shade list. Um, this performed very, very well. Uh, then we have this Genesis list, uh, and then we've got Vanquisher Regenleaf here, um, and we have got Dreadnought uh, Crime Noughts on the Russian side is the only deck that got at least three wins. Um, yeah, all of these are really, really good. And then let's, I think let's talk about what base people probably really care about, um, and that's the finals. Uh, and this was uh, this was a great match. This happened, uh, but unfortunately for me, I was traveling, uh, and this was going to take place at like 5 a.m. my time, and I'd also been up until like 4 a.m. Uh, or not, until like 2 or 3 a.m. like a bunch of nights previously um, with like a job I have. So uh, essentially, I would have gone 05. Um, which, to be fair, if you do look at the scores, um, the player who subbed in for me, Sin Cleric. Had went four and one, but if he had lost all his five games, we still would have won thirteen twelve. So to be fair, we would have won anyway. Um, but you know, obviously, thank you so much to Sinclair for subbing in for me very very last minute, like literally like twelve hours before, um, and for doing absolutely amazingly um, with superheroes. And yeah, as you can see, uh, it was a it was a great great day for us. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's let's talk through the lists. Um, uh, wait, 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 wait. So here we have Overlord Darkness. Um, this was actually like kind of a, a last minute uh, deck change too, um, and it's been, but apparently it just been performing so well this new list and testing and uh, clearly it performed very well on the day. Um, yeah, just uh, just you know Darkness does what Darkness does uh, best. Um, then we've got the exact same uh, Death Shade list. Uh, this was unchanged. Personally, I think there are some changes that can be made to this, but like I mean clearly it works. So you know when it may broke. Uh, then there was, uh, I believe, the exact same Genesis list as well. Um, this had also been like refined uh, to a bunch. Um, like our Genesis player had been playing this pretty much um, religiously since it came out. Um, so yeah, like we uh, we vibe on this. Um, and then we have the superhero list. This is Sin Cleric list. Bro just came in and was uh, was clapping cheeks. Um, yeah, uh, the worst card in this list is uh, is the Energy Gun Tapper. Honestly, you don't even really need it. Um, you can just play something else. Um, because you never, you never really gain any major value off it. Um, there's a, there's going to be, I think, uh, plenty of new cards to upgrade, hopefully in set five. Uh, but yeah, um, this was the Vanquisher list. And then on the Japanese side, we have got, um, this, uh, Va this Dragon Leaf list, um, which, you know, I mean, looks, looks good. Uh, Lucifer, I'm told, uh, is still very annoying, uh, because sometimes you just don't have the Dimension Laminate. And, uh, finally here, we have got this Death Shade, uh, list. Um, and like you know, uh, this is this is a better death trade list in my opinion. Sorry, Nathan. But, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, Doctor Beckus. So, uh, doxed him there. Uh, yeah. But there we go. So that was uh, that's a very very quick roundup of uh, of the finals there. Um, I I feel like it's just easier uh, to for you to just go and like look at all the decks in detail there. There isn't a massive amount to say, um, other than if you've played any of the format, you'll uh, probably appreciate that like superheroes, Regan Leafs, and Death Shades are like the three top dogs. Um, and then you just have like a host of other options you can choose to fill in like a, a fourth or a fifth space um, and uh, yeah I mean those, that, that is reflected in the results um, where like you know uh, Superhero Death Shade and, uh, did really well, Regan Leaf did really well on the Japanese side, Death Shade did really well on the, on the Japanese side um, they actually had a, another Overlord Regan Leaf player but um, as you can imagine that one didn't go <laughs> super well um, I really do think you need to be playing uh, Overly, uh, Overlord Vanquisher. Uh, sorry, Vanquisher Regan Leaf. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this wrap-up. I hope you enjoyed the tournament. Sorry um, that, it, again, it took so long to finish. Uh, but, yeah, I hope that um, you can take this to your locals because that's all Gate Ruler has. Crying. Uh, hopefully we will do another one. Um, would you guys be interested in competing in another one if we did another one? Because um, initially um, we had quite a lot of interest uh, from the US that they were considering putting together two teams, but um, they ended up just going with the one, um, so that they uh, so that the availability was easier. So, but yeah, like obviously, like uh, message in the Discord server if you're interested in, in a round two uh, when set five comes out. Um, I know the UK team is, and I'm pretty sure the Japanese team is, and the Spanish teams it's the Spanish team is. So you know we can make that happen. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Um, like, subscribe, usual stuff. Look forward to more Gate Ruler content, all that set five stuff. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.